For first light through our Cat91 telescope, we shot the Andromeda Galaxy and the Rosette Nebula. And they turned out amazing! Yeah, man. I'm Boyd Edwards. And I'm Ren Edwards. Let's talk sensor sensibility. We're super excited to share our first light experience through our Cat91 with you. For this, we chose two targets that have been high on our target list for months, just waiting for a telescope that will frame them well through our ASI 6200 camera. The first target is the Andromeda Galaxy, a vast spiral galaxy with a trillion stars, the biggest and brightest galaxy in the northern sky. At a distance of two and a half million light years from us, this galaxy is the most distant object that can be seen by the unaided eye. Edwin Hubble's 1925 observations of Cepheid variable stars in this galaxy proved that such spiral nebulae, as they were then called, were not collections of gas and dust in our own Milky Way galaxy, but independent island universes, collections of stars like our Milky Way, but separated from it by vast distances. The Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies are set to collide in about four and a half billion years. That's interesting, but I don't plan on being around for that. I'll let you know how it goes. The second target is the lovely Rosette Nebula, a bright emission nebula at a distance of 5,000 light years. Our monochrome Cat91 star tests show small round stars to the corners of a full frame sensor and suggest that this telescope can produce beautiful, highly detailed color images of these targets. But can it? The proof is in the pudding, and answering this question is what this video is about. We bought the Cat91 with our own money. Linked in the description below are more videos of our Cat91 unboxing, setup, and star tests, along with our target list of 213 celestial objects. To capture the fainter features of the Andromeda Galaxy and Rosette Nebula, we imaged these targets over 10 nights under moonless skies at our Bortle II dark site at Treasureton Reservoir in Franklin County, Idaho, United States of America. Treasureton Reservoir is a 45-minute drive from our homes in North Logan, Utah, and has an outhouse and a small concrete pad where we set up the telescope and park the car. Treasureton offers breathtaking views of the night sky. One time when Ren arrived at Treasureton, he sent me a text saying, I forgot how big. A quote by Tom Hanks' character in the movie Joe vs. the Volcano. Compared to with our Bortle 4 backyards, images taken at Treasureton show more contrast. There's more darkness to the darks and more brightness to the brights which allow me to bring out faint details without sacrificing the black background. But going to a Bortle 2 to get these high contrast images means negotiating with my wife to cover family obligations in my absence, making arrangements to read to my daughter earlier in the day, freezing fingers, and missed sleep. The description below shows and includes a link to a video comparing images that we've taken in a range of skies, including Bortle 1, and Bortle 8-9. Ren and I take turns traveling to Treasureton because it only takes one of us to image, sleeping in the back of the car, to communicate with each other and our families. Each time we're there, we roll out a 1,000-foot fiber optic cable that links a Wi-Fi router at the site to a cellular hotspot that we place on a nearby hill where there is nearby cell service. Stay tuned for a video describing the equipment that we use for this. After each night's imaging, I blinked through the light frames, eliminating frames with clouds or satellite streets, and keeping an integrated exposure time of over 22 hours per target, using long exposures for the nebulous regions and five second exposures for the stars. I processed both images in PixInsight. For details about the images taken, see the description. Here's our image of the Andromeda Galaxy taken through the Cat91 and full-frame ASI6200 camera. The Cat91 paired with an APS-C camera would also frame this galaxy nicely. 
There's a lot more detail, though, in this 51 megapixel image than you can see at this scale. It would take more than six 4K television screens to display the entire image. Here's a sweep showing details in dark dust lanes, red hydrogen emission regions, and small round stars. The Andromeda Galaxy is the most photographed galaxy in our skies, but few images, in our experience, can compare with the detail in this image. Our 51 megapixel image of the Rosette Nebula, taken through our Cat91 and ASI 6200, shows not just the Rosette Nebula itself in the lower left corner, but intricate, faint nebulosity surrounding it. Red tones are hydrogen alpha emissions, Blue tones are oxygen-3 emissions, and yellow tones are sulfur-2 emissions. The lower right portion of the image shows intricate nebulous filaments and a small oval region that, in, that resembles the Dumbbell Nebula. At the center of the nebula, hot, young, blue stars emit powerful ultraviolet radiation that heats the nebula to millions of degrees, ionizes it, and produces its beautiful emissions. Stellar winds from these stars clear the central area of gas and dust, giving it a wreath-like appearance. These winds compress the remaining gas and dust into dark filaments, or trunks, that eventually break up to form isolated dark patches called Bach globules, where new stars are being formed. A sweep through the nebula shows other fascinating details, including a black rift through the nebula that looks like someone slashed it with a knife. See the description below for links to our full resolution astro bin photos of these objects. These are the best images we've ever shot. Amen to that. After one year of imaging. <clears throat> Large prints of these images would be another great way to showcase their detail. You know, I'm not going to sell this scope unless the life of my firstborn son is at stake. I, I am your firstborn son, but I guess I'm glad you draw the line somewhere. Our conclusion, the Cat91 is a breakthrough in telescope design and construction and a game changer in the industry. We couldn't be happier with it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.